Hello, hello, beautiful heroes! Happy Sunday! Hello, hello, welcome to Erephus Cookie! Uh, Cookie, thank you for the resub! Uh, kind of. <laughs> Fizz, thank you for gifting Cookie a resub. There, ha uh, happy 49 months! Welcome back to the superheroes! Uh, Fizz, thank you for giving that gift subscription to Cookie. And Cookie, thanks for sticking around. Um, today, we are here for what you guys voted for, which was, oh, it's, it's not gonna come up. Another Fish Daddy game. Um, let's see if I click on it. There it is. Um, I think this is the second one. Somebody correct me if I'm egregiously wrong. Um, the Blackwell games, the Blackwell games. Uh, this is Blackwell Unbound um, by the same people that made Blackwell Legacy, which we played not too long ago. Um, oh no. We're gonna have to relaunch it. <laughs> it didn't like that I changed the audio. As old games do. At least, at least it has the ability to be smaller. Windowed. Finder, welcome! Hello, hello, how's it going? Uh, okie dokie. Um, let's see if, if ooh, let's let's see if Miro's brain can do a quick recap of what these games are about. Um, I don't remember our name. I'm ready to apologize for any technical issues. Good, I'm glad that you take it upon yourself. <laughs> um, we are this woman whose name I can't remember at the moment, but I'm sure we'll get into it. And uh, one day we just magically became able to see this ghost man. Um, and that led us to solving ghost mysteries, essentially. All good here. Just been out for dinner. How's it going for everyone else? Good. I just had um, my lunch slash breakfast brunch. We'll call it brunch of fish sticks and a smoothie. So <laughs> really an interesting combination if you think about it. Bless Boggs for this delicious smoothie. Um, I think that's all we really need to know is it's Ghost Mysteries. Um, would you like to activate in-game instructions? Nah, <laughs> we, oh, we can figure it out. You can still view the instructions by clicking the help button on the option screen. Okay, all right, good. Infinity. Uh, oh. I've been told it's beautiful, but I don't think it's anything special. But when you live like me, most things become quite ordinary. Life, death, tormented souls, Slave it's all the same it. to me. Sometimes I Look wonder you, if anything welcome. will ever surprise Hello. me again. Sometimes I wonder if I even care. The first game we played is Rose Angela, Rosa, and this game, it's her Aunt Lauren. Ah, yes, yeah, 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 that was her name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this one, we get to play as Aunt Lauren. Interesting. So this is almost a prequel, then. I'm liking the suave music. Also, this is, this is the only size we get. I apologize for it being square. Nothing we can do. Yeah, those colors say it all. Ooh. And stay out. Oh. Oh, <laughs> hey, you know I don't like that. What's your beef anyway? I am not talking to you. Oh, promises, promises. So what's next on the list? What's next? The balcony. Why, gonna throw yourself over and join me? No, I'm having a cigarette. Great, you want a cigarette. What am I supposed to do? You can do whatever the hell you like. We're sassy. We're not having it with the ghost man, whose name I also don't remember. Just one. Then I can get on with this. Uh oh. We got a plant, an ashtray, candle in a bottle. Absolutely not. Right now, nothing exists except for me and this cigarette. Oh. Absolutely not. Right now. Okay. I'm not moving from this spot until. A lighter. 
lit cigarette, cigarette pack, case no. list. The case, nothing exists. A pack of cigarettes should last till the end. This will probably be my last cig I can't get, I can't get rid of this I'm not list. Moving. Get, put it down. No, nothing. All right, not we moving from like this, this spot until I finished my cigarette. I was going to offer a chance to rule the galaxy, but never mind. That's okay. I can't. I can't even take care of myself. That is too much responsibility for me. No, thank you. I don't think I would enjoy being. I haven't taken it. A king or queen of anything. Lord, send help. I'm it's not stuck. It's I'm not oh. Okay, no, it's gone. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, we can switch to him. Fuck yeah. I can't wear the thing. Well, you're not wrong. Rainy day jar. Don't know what I could do with it. Okay, I just was hoping you could tell me what the fuck that was. I'll picture. let her handle the picture taking. Okay. What do you want me to do? Scare it? Yes. Charles, welcome! I'll be looking. My shoulder is killing me. Uh, there will be minimal typing. Took an NSID and muscle relaxer to help out with the pain. Muscle spasms. So a bit out of it. Oh, Charles, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it feels better. I hope the meds kick in. Uh, don't worry about typing. Just enjoy the sultry sounds of this jazz music. <laughs> Feel better. I'm so sorry. I do miss a good smoke. Although, she smokes enough for both of us. Well, yeah. Phone book? Can't do anything with that. Okay. Coffee mug? Man, she's got two I ashtrays. have no use for ashes. Thanks. She's got ashes everywhere. Don't no, I'm not doing that again. The kid oh can find her own damn loose change. Oh my god! She has an ashtray here, an ashtray here, an ashtray here, and an ashtray here. I can smell this room, and it's horrid. I can't turn oh. on the radio. There's nothing worse than the smell of cigarettes, in my opinion. Aw, oh, cute! Oh, we saw this picture in the first game, I think. Does it want a hug? Not much I can do with that. If I'd known I could be photographed, I would have shown my good side. <laughs> Don't know what I could. Can we possess the Boy, TV? If I could touch it, that would sure be great. Didn't wasn't he no, able to like manipulate breezes? No, I'm not breezes? doing that again. The kid can find her own damn loose change. You just bother. Hey, Sassy, welcome. What? Hello, hello. Uh, direct a question or roundabout insult are her choices. Ooh, maybe an apology. I didn't see that option. Only, only those two exist. Uh, let's let's try to apologize. Look, I'm sorry. Might make her feel better. Sorry for what? Um. Exactly. Uh, direct insult now. Okay, let's do a roundabout insult. You done moping, or do you want to grind your teeth some more? Christ, Joey, can't you just leave it for one minute? Why the heck are you so mad? You honestly don't know. I have no idea. Typical. If you don't know, I'm sure as hell not going to tell you. Take another drag of that cigarette, darling. You get real ugly when you stop smoking. Oh? Is that right? Well... Ugly, am I? Take it easy, dear. It was just a little joke. A joke, yeah. Uh -oh. I'm a riot. Like today, when those pipes burst. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is, is that what's got you in such a guff? I got soaked, and you just laughed. Play innocent, tell the truth, give in. Tell the truth? We thought it was funny? I don't know. Sasha, did you just say, did you really just say meowdy? Is that like meow howdy? Meowdy. For some reason I picture one of our many, many cat detectives saying that. Well, it was Incredible. funny. It was cold and wet and slimy. It wasn't oh. funny. Gross. You should have seen the look on your face. Slimy. The way you jumped up and down and ran in circles, squealing. <sighs> Still wasn't funny. If you say so. If that happened to me and I got home, I'd be showering first thing, not smoking a cigarette on the veranda. Okay, Whoa. I'm finished. Let's get on with this. There's a few things we haven't checked, right? Yes, I've got the list right here. Well, let's check it. Every other case today has been a false alarm. Maybe this will be an easy night. I like that it already assumes that we know what's going on. I mean, because technically we should, but... Barry, you're clearly not addicted to smoking. Well, yes, that would be accurate. <laughs> that would be accurate. I am not. 
How do I check this? Oh, like this. Okay. Ugh. Every one of these leads has been a dead end. Just two more to go, and we can call it a night. Uh, what does that say? Something in Little Italy reports his stock disappearing. Just rats. Uh, strange moaning on Staten Island ferry at night. Oh, it's old water pipes. Woman reports her husband's ghost talks to her. She's a drunk. Wow. Wow. All right. Nice finder. Congrats. That is a, a, quite the achievement. My dish, my shoulders and neck randomly decide to kill me. It was just a matter of time and drugs. Luckily, I have an injection and cortisone on the 23rd, which can't come quick enough. Hooray! Drugs! <laughs> kidding but i really do hope that the cortisone <laughs> makes you feel better how long do those shots usually last like how often do you have to get them i feel like you've told me before but i can't remember don't you drugs kids they're for adults only yeah only adults get the fun drugs oh we can click on these i read about a grocer who is complaining about his stock mysteriously grocer, disappearing grocer that's what that turned out is. to be a bunch of rats joey scared them half to death most fun I've had all year. Now that was a waste of time. Didn't find any ghosts, and I got soaked. Not only did we not come home to shower right away, we then went on to a second case afterwards. That woman was old, drunk, and senile. A total waste of time. This one looks promising. Residents have reported strange music on the oh, promenade late at yeah. night. Nobody knows where it comes from. Sassy, thank you for gifting us up to Finder. Finder, welcome to the Miro Superheroes. I think for the first time. I hope you enjoy your sub barrel and your emotes. You can use the Miro Day at Amote emote, the little heart, uh, to thank Sassy in chat. Sassy, thank you so much for gifting that sub. Finder, welcome. One of us. You live here now. I hope you know that. Um, what's this one? A development corporation has Thank halted you, construction after a series of accidents. Probably nothing, but worth checking out. So, we sh what do we do first? Let's talk, Joey. Uh-huh. Chat with Joey. Goodbye, I'm Joey. still mad, you know. Keep it up, doll. I might start to believe you. That's it for now. Yeah, well... Alright, goodbye, Joey. Um, do we... Do we leave now? Maybe that's how we leave. Finder is now two let's months get out of here. sub. Right behind Sorry, you. I mean, super good time. Really? It doesn't say that on my list thing. Oh no, it does say it on this one though. Lame. Well, welcome back to the superheroes. Welcome to your second rodeo. <laughs> um. Oh, okay, cool. So let's go to this one. Well, this is it. Yep. All's quiet so far. We got a gate. That the gate we can't is locked. Through. I can't get through. The gate is locked. Can we just go through the wall like fucking Hulk smash? Mm -mm. I'll leave that where it is. But what if you took I it? I don't think. I don't think. Joey, Joey, help! Oh, Joey could just go through yeah, the walls. Doll. Wait, That's hold it. On. Hold on, this is a job for Joey. Alright, I'm going in to check it out. Stay close to nice. the wall. Yeah, sure. Let me know what you find. Helps to be a ghost. Hello? Spooky. Anyone here? Oh. Ah. Well, what do you see? Is it clean? I'm afraid not. Well, hurry up then. I feel stupid pressed up against this wall. Uh, notebook updated. Okay, cool. This place is filthy. Hey there. Huh? Could someone, Could someone be, there? be there? Of course not. not. No, no one, one would be so rude as to enter without, without knocking. knocking. <sighs> I'll be b for my home. What do I knock on? The trailer door? What do I knock on? Oh, nope, we're just going in. What do we got? There's not much I can do with that except look at it. I know you feel I had to trim down a whole bunch of subs. I miss the emotes I used to have. Uh, I had to cancel on my Twitch sub recently, so I doubly appreciate it. 
Uh, fine, I totally understand that. I totally get that too. Uh, I'm just happy when you guys come to hang out. What do I click on? Sassy that calendar? looks profoundly useless. Okay. Not much I can. Even if I which I it would be. Uniform. What am I? Okay. He doesn't want to do anything with anything. This is the first time for my shoulder. I had cortisone shot for my Did knee three years ago. It worked fairly well since then. But arthritis in my Where knee is... Where else can I go? ...from my orthoscopic surgery 20 years ago. Not dish. Hmm. So I don't know how that'll work. Yeah, it I'd might, like to it see might do things try. differently. How, what am I supposed to knock on? I said... No, no. Nobody, nobody there. there. Door, Door is locked, locked and, barred. and barred. Nobody could get in. Just look at me, why don't you? I know you can see me. No. Visitors must knock. Or ring the bell. That's the... Okay, wait, wait, wait. <sighs> I'll be... Uh-oh. I think maybe we can get... Hello, up. Joey, what are you doing? Uh, let's see if we can get her to... I need you to Knock do on something. the door. What? I need you to knock on knock the gate on door. Knock on the gate door. Knock on the door? Why? I'll explain Just later. Do Just it. do it. Just do it. A knock? Oh my! A visitor! Tis me! Uh, just a minute! Is my hair okay? Oh, lady. It'll have to do. Hello? Hello, miss. Hello? Can I help you? Uh... I'm Joey Malone, miss. I feel like she well, Mr. Malone, to what do I owe the pleasure? I feel like she would really want uh, me to follow normal pleasantries. What's your name? Excuse me? Your name? My name is on the door. If you don't know who I am, then why are you here? Uh-oh, that pissed her off. I'm a bit lost. Can you tell me where I am? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Are you looking for a specific apartment or... Apartment? You mean we're inside a building? Yes. Are you, Are you feeling, feeling all right, right, right. mister? <laughs> uh... I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. Oh, nope, she's I'm done. not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? The... Gas man? That sounds like the start of a bad porno. <laughs> I live next door. In the neighbor. You do? You do? Which, Which room? Uh, 4 E? No, you, no, you don't. don't. You're not You're fooling not me. You're, You're one, one of them, them aren't uh -oh. you? One of them? Who is them? I told, I told you, you all before, before. I, am I am not leaving. leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that they did that. Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. Another visitor. <laughs> what? Uh, you again. Um. You're not in a building, lady. Let's just fuck her what up. What are you talking about? We're on the ground. We're outside. You, sir, need glasses. Look at the door. It says D, clear as day. D, huh? I'd like to ask. Look, I'm not who are. Okay. Let's go with. Yes. I'm with the gas company. I was sent to check your apartment for leaks. Didn't you come this morning? Uh. Yes, you did. You found nothing, and you charged me a fortune. That must have been someone else. You're not fooling me. One uh -oh. who is. I told you the only is as good. Well, fuck that up. D, what? D, you don't be running answers. D's nuts, obviously. See, Sassy gets it. I'd like to see them try. Hey. All right. Again. Oh. Let's go for... I'd like to have... Look, I'm not... Who are... Uh, landlord. I time. was sent by your landlord. Oh, you were? Yep, he wanted me to ask you a few questions. Well, for your information, I don't have a landlord. Well, there went that idea. I own this apartment. You're not fooling me. One who I told the old is goodbye. Did I leave the gas on? Uh, 
I don't know. Is it hey. costing you a fortune? Ma oh, oh, my, I'm you popular again. today. Sixth fucking. Uh, you're not, not in a building, lady. Let's try this. Take one. a look around. I don't, I don't know, know what, what you're, you're talking, talking about. about. We're, We're on the, on the third, third floor. floor. Look, there's, there's the elevator. So she lives in 3D. Ah, right. Yeah, I see it. Are you sure you're feeling all right? She must live in 3D, which means we need to live in 3C, maybe? I'd like. Look, I'm not. Who are. Okay, now I, I'm a neighbor. You do? We uh, 4E. No, you. Who? I told you. You idiot! You blew it! Hey, kid. My oh. I'd like. I'd Let's try Census I'm Taker, with then. the Census Bureau. And I have to ask you a couple of questions. Where's, Where's your, your clipboard? clipboard? Excuse me? I thought all <laughs> census takers needed a clipboard. Ah, you got no. me. Not anymore. Cutbacks. Cutbacks. You're not budget cuts, me. you know. We You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I told you all the is good. Alright. Hmm. Hello, Joey. What are you? How's it going, going on the outside? Out there? Oh, it's a thrill a minute out here. Like a day at the circus. I need- Hmm, it better- Hmm, never mind. This place is filthy. I'm not entirely sure what we need to do to this lady. Hey. We can't be her neighbor. Oh. oh. Thanks for- Yes, good, good day. They wanna they fight? fight? I'll, I'll give, give them one. one. There's something in here that we need to look at? You think not, maybe the blueprint. not much I can do. There's you not can, much I. You can look at it. That look. Look at it. Even if, which I don't. It would be. Too How do I get to be Lauren again? Do I have to go through the door? They have no right. No, no right. right. So we can figure I'd out like that they needed to try. take down the building to build something else and she didn't wanna and they killed her so now she's haunting. I think so. That's essentially what I'm gathering if she doesn't she so, didn't want to give up her taken thing. Care of? Not yet, dear. Slacker. Hey, you got a minute? What is it now? It's pretty Yeah, I feel so, so worst that could happen um, is they think you're crazy. Great. All right. Yeah. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, we can. Go to construction site. Good. Very helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What if we leave and just go to the other one? Maybe we were meant to do this one first. Hmm. Looks like another bus, Joey. Yeah, maybe. Oh, just right clicking. Or maybe stuff. not. That's a good question. Wait, you hear that? I think so. Let's get closer. Sexy jazz music in the park. What is this? Ghost saxophone. Look. Looks like, like our like evening might not be already. a total wash after all. This ghost is ten times better. Hey, mister. He's, he's lost in the sauce. Nice tune. You write it yourself? I'm Lauren Blackwell. What's your name? No. What are you doing here? Kind Can't. of late to be out, don't Can't you think? Can't be stopped. Can't stop the, the dead hot don't jazz. keep normal hours, dear. I think I've forgotten what normal hours are. <laughs> Ugh, forget it. Swapsies. Hey, Mac, the name's Joey. Ah, the talkative sort, are we? Man. Well, we'll soon sort that out. You won't even talk to me. That's a pretty nice instrument you got there. Mind if I have a look? Does anybody here play the sax? Has anybody here ever touched a saxophone? Let's talk hey, about death. Hey, do you feel restless? Let's talk about death. Like you've got somewhere to go but don't know where? It means you're dead, Mac. Can you even hear me? Hmm. Pay I attention, you fat chump. I'm talking. Wow, rude. That's oh your God. idea of intimidating? Quiet, will ya? You didn't care. Uh... So... Nice night, huh? I'll be back. Hmm. Not entirely sure what to do about this, either. Uh, no. 
We can do something with the sax. <gasps> hey, I'm talking, Buster. Hey, you let, let go. go. Oh, man. Uh. I'm Joey. Pleasure to meet you. Well, I, don't I don't care, care. who you nice. are. Nobody, Nobody interrupts, interrupts my, my set. set. Well, I believe I just did. Uh. I need to ask you a few questions first. Not nah, now, now, man. man. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Get off the stage! Stage? Ow! That's how we treat your kind at Johnny Ivory's. Johnny Ivory's? What are you talking about? Hello? Oh, we're dealing with a real sharp tack here. Notebook updated. Let's chat. What is it now? Uh... Alright. Yeah. Hold up. I just want to read the notes. Johnny Ivory's. That's it. Okay, that's the that's the note. That's the whole note. Is Johnny Ivory a name? Never heard of a name like that. Don't know. There's always the phone book. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh bring a little bit of headway on this. All right. Yeah. Let's head home. I don't leave. Oh, we have to leave as her. Let's go check the phone book in our apartment for this club, jazz bar, question mark. My best friend's little brother took like five years of sax lessons. Nice. Five years is a good bit of time. Was he good? Oh, shit. Oh, man, I don't know. I don't remember the name. There's no end. Johnny Ivories. Okay. I didn't expect I have to put it in. Johnny Ivory's Jazz and Cabaret. It's on Bleecker and 7th Avenue. You up for some jazz, Joey? You mean we finally get to listen to some real music? Oh uh, yeah, oh, real jazz. Treat. No idea? I'll ask about it next time we talk. Thanks. Come on, sure let's get out of here. Back. Right Very behind important. you. I, uh, I've never touched a sax. I took clarinet lessons in school. Hello, a live man. Hey, mister. Yes. Our first live person. Gotta wow, what a deep For voice. For thing like you, I got several. Huh. Wow. So what brings you here on such a sad night? Sad? Wait, why is it sad? Did the dude just die? I'm on a case. Is that right? Oh, yes. Very top secret. Sounds dangerous. Very. A guy could get into trouble hanging around a girl like you. And Lauren. What's your name? Pleasure is all mine, Lauren. You can call me C. C. You got it, sister. Um. Is that C like Start the water? The That's C like the chord. It's the first chord oh, oh. I played, and you never forget your first. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> C these nuts. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm really glad we, we managed to get there. You know any other musicians? I do run in those circles, yeah. Any of them play here? Sometimes we get major gigs here. But me, I'm what you call the dependable type. These fingers can go all night long. Can they now? Oh, jeez, make him stop. Is he saying what I think he's saying? Oh, Lord. I'm looking for info about a musician. Well, I'll try to help you out. Who is he? I don't know his name. I think he's a sax player. I know lots of sax players, sister. Big guy, kind of chubby, has a beard. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. Damn. It's okay for me to talk to you like this. I don't hear anybody else complaining. Dull night, huh? You could say that. But I think it just got a bit more interesting. Lord. Is that right? These lips don't lie. See you around. Anytime. I guess we need a different clue. Hey, C. Hello there. Look at this. See you Look around. at this shit. Look at this. Watch his face. Somber. Somber. Sad. Right? Like, doesn't care. The minute I click on him, I brow up. He's like, hey, baby. Hey, C. Look at that. Hello there. Incredible. See you One little arched eyebrow says it all. 
He's ready for some action. Uh, let's go hassle. Oops. What? A lady. Oh boy, we've got company. A whole lady? Can you see? Pardon? Can't you see? See what, lady? The whole of the world. Connections, oh, patterns, pulsing with life everywhere. Oh, great. One of New York's finest crazies. Do something about this old bat, will ya? Uh... Do you want money? Because I don't have any. <laughs> How about money. a cigarette? Fool! Liar! Can't you see? Um... Oh, boy. Useless! Useless! Bye! Wow. I know. Have a nice day. Only in New York. Gotta love the crazies. Okay, this isn't where I wanted to be anyway. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Um. Oh my is God! Is that who I think it is? Oh, oh no. no! Oh no, crazy lady! No! <laughs> Wait, please. Do you understand? Do you feel it? Do you see it? No. I told you I have no idea what you're talking about. You will. That's well, ominous. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh? Is she following us? I don't know. She kind of creeps me out. Me too. Can't you see? Can you see these nuts? Why. Lord. Um, okay. This dude's jazz isn't here. Hey, you got a good sh- I'll be- Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. Uh... Just what are you doing here? What am I doing? What do you think I'm doing? Get away from me, man! I'm gonna talk to you, and you're gonna listen. Or so help me, I'll take this sex and shove Ow. it right up your- Give me that! Well... I guess I got nothing. Get out of here! Ow! There, got our jazz back. I apologize for my lack of jazz music. Yes, please, uh, apologize for every bug that pops up. I'm guessing that the crazy old lady, like, cock-blocked the music, is what, is what happened. Well? Hmm. Maybe... I don't really have anything to do at home. Oh, crazy lady's just straight up gone. I thought maybe she would just like bounce between the two places until we figured out what the fuck she was up to, but I'm going in. Yeah, that wasn't the case. Let's make sure that nothing has changed in here. No. As usual, let me know if you want to hint. Uh, I was just about to cheat, so if you want to, <laughs> if you want to do that for me, uh, feel free. Yes. Let's go with hint number one. So how's your new friend? Oh, just dead. Just. Just dandy. Oh, uh, this one. She really does smoke everywhere she goes. This lady's gonna die of lung cancer. Let's see if there isn't anything at home. Oh! What do you know? Lauren. Lauren, it's Jack. Ah, okay. We'll go to see his Lauren, place. I know you're there. I'm your brother. For God's sake, talk to me. Shits. Can we take the camera? No, that's not that's not what I meant to do. There's no end. Got it. Nice. We've already looked. We don't need end. Is there anything else I can take with this? What would I need a candle for? Well, I don't know. Ash pail. A whole ash pail. Uh, the recorder. Oh, yep. What do they call it? Disco phone? I guess I could take this along. What? Dictation machine. Yeah, that'll probably help. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind. What? What do I take pictures of? Uh, let's go to Johnny Iris. And... Oh, duh, photos. This will probably show the dude. This one looks interesting. That's this him, man. the Jasmine ghost from the promenade. Looks like we're on the right track. Bye. 
photo provided courtesy of Jambalaya courtesy Records. Of J hmm. my Was that in my note? No, it didn't make it to my notes. Hey, C. Hello, bitch. What's the band in that photograph behind you? That Dictation old machine. System. It's not that old. Old enough. Before my time is all. See you around. Mm. Alright, uh... Hmm. How do you... <laughs> Hold on, I need to write this down. Lord knows I have zero idea how to spell jambalaya on a regular basis. Uh... We need a pen. Pen acquired. All right. Oh, is it? It's probably jambalaya. Because they're jamming. Get it? Har 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 har. Okay. The only thing holding up that dress is fate. Pretty girl, though. I wonder who she is. It doesn't look to be. I'm not here. Anything else here, hmm. really? No, it's the it only lets me look at that picture, so let's try to go look up Jambalaya Records at my house, maybe? Dictaphone was a brand of recording designed for voice recording. Oh, really? Oh, nice. The more you know. I could go for a Jambalaya, dude. Same. Jambalaya. Jambalaya. A lot, lot more uh, A's than you would think. Here we go. Jumbalaya Records, 240 Essex Street. I'll jot that down. Nice. New location. Come on, let's go. Right behind. Let's go. Do you think they'll actually have food? Nope, it's just a dude. He's got a pepper on the door, though. It's a pepper shop. It's an interesting camera angle. Good evening. Dwayne. Good evening to you. I'm Dwayne. Lauren Blackwell, I was hoping you could help me. So I'll do my best. What can I do for you? Mm. So what is this place? This? This is a music agency. We manage bands, do promotions, things like that, you know? Well, by we, I really mean me. You do this all by yourself? Yep. One man operation. That's me. One man show. What sort of music do you manage? Mostly jazz and reggae. Nobody famous. Has anyone ever combined Most jazz Most small and reggae? timers have trouble getting their foot in the door. Getting gigs in small clubs. Helping with recording sessions. You know, the basic stuff that musicians don't want to deal with. My father was from a... Uh... Short way up the river from New Orleans. That's fun. He only practiced a tiny bit of voodoo. Only a little bit of voodoo. Baby voodoo. <laughs> You're up and late. Really? Yeah, I suppose I am. I learned to work musician hours, you know. You play a gig at night and have a problem. You want someone to call? Your clients have lots of problems, do they? Don't I know get the me started. I'm looking for a sax player. Well, I can definitely help you there. You looking for a standing or something more long term? Um, oh, someone no, dead. Sorry, I'm not with a band. I'm looking for a specific sax player. Well, if he's a client of mine, I can help you. What's his name? That's the problem. I don't know. But he's in a photograph that your company took. Really? Can I see it? I don't have it. Then I don't know what to say. Oh, we gotta take a picture of a picture. Hold up, we gotta take a picture of a picture. I might be. No Goodbye! I know what to do. Uh. They call it Jambalaya and they don't have. Zide Deco? What is Zide? No, get out. Oh my god. Woman. Lady! How do I exit the screen? Where is it? I thought I clicked on it. She just went back inside. What is Zide Deco music? Uh, Johnny Ivory's. These photos. Hmm. Take a picture of a picture, as you do. It's the photo from... I already... Now... We're talking. Now we're on a roll. 
Bed Deco is a music genre that evolved in the Southwest Louisiana, Southwest Louisiana by French Creole speakers, which blends blues, rhythm, and blues, and music indigenous to Louisiana Creoles and Native American people of Louisiana. Wow. Hi I gotta yeah. look some of this up. Hi yourself. Again. Um. Oh, no, wait. Hey, can you come with me to Johnny Ivory's? I'll show you that photograph I told you about. I wish I could, you know. But I have a t Maybe another time? Yeah, sure. Hold Thanks up. for that. I might be back. No problem. I, uh, I bet the way you hand stuff to people is not to have Do you a know this man? Just oh, that. yeah. I remember those guys. The C Sharps. That was the band's name? Yeah, I used to manage them. You used to manage them, but not anymore? Nah. Been about eight. Ten years? Time wow. flies, you know. That's a minute. Hi again. Hi you. What can you tell me about the C sharps? Tell me. Oh, tell me they about were strictly family. lounge jazz, you know? Lounge but jazz. I saw them doing more. They really gelled, you know? Gelled? In tune with each other. And that lady had a voice like velvet. What happened to them? Dunno. They disappeared. Got them a few gigs and cut a record and that was it. Guess they just moved on or just broke up. It happens, you know. But what was the dude's name? Thanks for the no pro. Ugh, that was so not helpful. I was hoping to get a name. Maybe we ask C about the C sharps. I feel like C would know about the C sharps, but uh, maybe I'm crazy. Hey, C. Hello there. Do you know anything about the C-sharps? The C-sharps? Nah. Nah, I've never heard of them. Well, balls. Maybe we consult the ghost. Need to switch to Joey here. Oh, at Johnny's? Guess I haven't tried that, huh? What can he do? How am I supposed to play it? Possess the facts. piano? My piano playing days are long gone. Nope. What am I supposed to- He's not really- Possess the photo? Hmm, this one. It's our sax playing spirit in the flesh. Whoever that is, I can't see him. Especially with such a pleasant distraction getting away. Oh my god, away. Joey. Can I possess the booze? Sheet music. Oh, ruffle it. What do we have here? He's written something at the top of the sheet. Property of Cecil Sharp. Aw, how sweet. There we go. Maybe his mommy signed it for him. Cecil it is. Nice. Thanks, Harry. Hey, C. Hello there. Cecil. Is your name Cecil Sharp? Now, who went and told you that? Oh, you could say Little Bird told me. Tweet, tweet. Well, you won't go tell <laughs> nobody, will you? Lips are sealed. Oops. See you in it. Okay, maybe we go back to the record place and ask Mr. Jambalaya Records Man about Cecil, and he'll be like, oh, yeah, his great great grandfather was. Was part of that band. Hey, Hi. maybe that's my guess. Probably does not. Does the name correct, Cecil but... Sharp ring any bells? You know, that name does sound familiar. But uh, I'm so awful with names, you know. Is he part of a band? Maybe he plays piano at Johnny Ivory's. Ah, uh, I deal with them all the time. But that's not where I heard the name. Hmm, this is going to bug me all night. Thanks for the help. I might be back. No problem. Well, that was less helpful than I wanted it to be. Well, what do we got here? What do we got to do? I'm going to go hassle. Oh, for fuck's sake. I keep doing it. Wrong place. I keep expecting that homeless lady to show up again. Game mechanic from previous game combined stuff in your notebook. I don't know. Set the photo on fire. Got it. <laughs> I 
This is a little recording. I've been using it to re I like these games, but I don't like these games because it takes so long to go from one place to another. Oh yeah, like the, the, oh, the notes, the notes, the notes. Um, it does take a really long time to load from like one location to testing, another. Testing, testing. Hello? Long. Does my voice really sound like that? <clears throat> Gotta cut back on the cigarettes. Anyway, I've been having some extreme dreams lately, but I don't remember any of them. I get the strangest feeling that they're important, but I can't put my finger on why. I'm keeping this recorder next to my pillow so I can record what I remember as soon as I wake up. That would probably be smart, a smart thing for me to do. Um, my dreams are little This is a little- I've Oh my god. Queensboro Bridge. It's just stuck on my mouse, there we go. Cecil Sharp. The C Sharps. Cute. Real cute. There we go. Aha! We've done it! I totally forgot that that was a mechanic. We probably should have enabled hints for this. Exit. Exit woman. Leave! Uh, I'm gonna go with this is who we want to talk to. Hi again. Hi you. Was Cecil Sharp in the band the C Sharps? Cecil Sharp. C Sharps. Yes. This lion. I knew bag. I heard the name from somewhere. So do you remember him now? Oh yeah, he was the band leader. A genius on the piano. Thanks for the I might be, I be Way we go. See? Lie to us? He thought he could get away with it too with that crooked eyebrow. He thought we wouldn't notice. Hey C. Hello. I got your number. What now. can you tell me about your old band, the C Sharps? C Sharps? Mm-hmm. Can't help you there. Never heard of them. Now I know that's a lie. I spoke to your old manager. He confirmed who you are. You spoke to Dwayne? Yes, I did. That... Fine. Hmm? You got me. Yes. I used to run a band called the C Sharps. It was a rotten time in my life, and I'd just as soon forget it. Why are you stirring up these old ashes, huh? I have my reasons. Yeah, sure you do. About that sax player. Yeah? He's in that photo behind you. So, I know he's with the C Sharps and that you know him. What is this? You from that damn magazine? Just need his name. Magazine? The New Yorker. You a reporter? No. So no more smiling, isn't. no more. You just I'm don't quit, do you? You want to know no, so badly? Happy. His name is Isaac Brown. Thank Isaac you. Brown? Was that yes. so hard? You happy now? Ecstatic. Great. See you later. Yeah. Oh, man. See you so What? Oh, man. See you later. Yeah. He really doesn't like us anymore. Even his, like, goodbyes are just like, yeah, fucking see you later. The sex... The sex is gonna be so angry now? What did you mean sex? What did you mean sex? The guy I went to high school with started to take notes when he was high because he was supposedly having genius ideas. This is stoned, but forgetting them. Uh, once he did that... They were like, I need to clean my nails. Wow. Wow. Next level thoughts there. Incredible. Really glad he recorded that. Good stuff. Lord. Uh, I think we need to be Johnny for this one. Isaac Brown, we need to talk to you. Hello. I said, I said let go. You're Isaac Brown, aren't you? What's, What's it to you, you, man? So you are Isaac Brown? How do you know me? me? You met Get away! Way. Okay. Get out of here! Da! Well, that didn't help. Hmm. Okay. I don't leave here until. Oh. Maybe we look him up in the white pages, find out his house, look through his shit, find his like relatives, tell them he's dead. There's no entry for- Shit, what was his name? I-S-A-A-C There isn't a listing. Dead people usually aren't listed in the phone book, dear. Just the obituary. 
We've already looked. We don't. Mm. Isaac, not Isaac. <laughs> is Isaac? Yeah, I guess you're right. Come on, let's get out of here. We all know I right don't behind know. Behind you. No one's surprised. Um. I guess maybe we talk to him about Isaac. I'm running out of leads here. Dwayne. Hi, Dwayne, help a girl yourself. Out. That sax player from the C-Sharps, his name was Isaac Brown. Does that mean anything to you? No, I'm sorry. Damn it. I remember the sax player, but I never <sighs> spoke to him, you know? Quiet fella. Born to play the sax. That's all I know. Hmm. Oh. Why did Cecil ask me if I was a New York reporter? That's Thanks for- I'm No problem. I, I see I see your candid hint, I think. Error, error. Surprise Pikachu face, the mural can't spell. What? You mean she can't spell? <laughs> uh I guess let's question Cecil about this one. Cecil What? Who is the reporter? I don't know. Mitchell something? Slow talker. Drove me crazy. You think he killed Isaac? I just played the piano. I don't think anything. Especially not the past. Whoever did Isaac? The son of a bitch had it coming. So please, just get out of here. I didn't really like Isaac. See you later. Yeah. Watch him know something about the ghost at the construction site. Um. Mitchell something. Uh, let's try interrogating him about this. Highly doubtful, though. I'll be back. Got to click on the sex. I see. What do you know about a reporter named Mitchell? Mitchell. Mitchell. I'm, not, I'm sure. not sure. He's a, He's a nice, nice man. man. He, asked he asked me about, about my life. life. He, bought he bought me a drink. drink. Gave, gave me ten dollars. He. he Hey, 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 what are you what doing, are you doing on, stage, on stage, man? Oh, we almost oh, had him. Here we go again. Get, Get out of here! Ow! Well, we could look up... I don't leave here until... Yeah, I do want to go to the New Yorker, so I'm assuming we have to look that up in the white pages? I haven't actually, like... I grew up in the 90s, right? But I swear to God, I never used a phone book. I've never used a phone book in my life. This is foreign to me. No, not the couch. I'm not ready. Born in 86, same. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad it's not just me. Uh, new. It's two words, right? Yep, there's a listing there. for the New Yorker. Their main office is in Midtown. Cool. Come on, let's get Yay, out of here. Millennial right behind you. <laughs> I, I do remember payphones being a thing. Well, wait a minute. Born in the mid 60s and I've used both white pages and yellow pages. Okay, but like, how did they work though? I don't understand. Oh, the phone. There's no- I didn't know- I didn't know we could just do this. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I could have just done this entire case from my couch. You've used a phone book before? Thank That's you for four. calling the New Yorker. How can I help you? Hello. Yes. I'm trying to reach a reporter named Mitchell. Well, let's see now. Mitchell. Mitchell. We have a Joseph Mitchell on staff. Is that him? I guess it's worth a try. Is he in? Yes, he is. Hold, please. Joseph Mitchell. He's not answering. Maybe I should go up there in person. I don't miss phone books for sure. They were a nightmare. Not only for smacking people with Come the on, let's get out of here. Right behind. phone numbers. Witchcraft. Nice, there it is. But yes. Why is he just sitting there doing nothing? Do, Can I help you? Are you Mr. Mitchell? Work, they I just sure am. I'm desk. Lauren Blackwell. Do well, nothing. do come in, Miss Blackwell. At least pretend to be typing.
I was hoping that you could help me. Well, I'll do what I can. What is this regarding? Are you a reporter or... Uh, researcher? No, I'm just doing some research. Uh, see, you're a student. More a student of life. Ah, uh, aren't we all? So what can I do for you, Miss Blackwell? Well... I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, uh, Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Why the sudden interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. Anything else? You Why do you want to write about him? I don't want to go too in-depth. Out of respect, you understand? Oh my god. Sure. I bullshit. was drawn I to him heard. for the same reasons I'm drawn to anybody I write about. I felt he had a story that could reach people, enrich them, perhaps learn from. Really? Miss Blackwell, spend some time talking to the poor and the downtrodden. Walk down the Bowery and speak to the half-wits and the have-nots. In one hour, you'll learn more from them than you would from a lifetime of school. <laughs> Joseph, spill the tea! My page has had an alphabetic, alphabetic listing of people by last then first name. Entries had addresses for some people unless you chose to have your phone number. Yellow Pages was a listing of businesses alphabetical by business type. I feel like that would still be very handy today, right? Like, in finding people? So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon? Tell me about yourself. Yes, I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. I'm afraid I'd make a poor interview subject. Well, it was worth a shot. So how long have you been working here? Do you always ask such personal questions? I'm just curious about the sort of work you do. I write about people, Miss Blackwell. What sort of people? Not the famous sort. Just ordinary people, like you or me. Ordinary people, like me. You find that amusing? Oh, not at all. I think that's all well, for now. All right. You have a good night. That got me nothing. There's the internet. Yeah, but the internet nowadays is like, oh, you want to look up somebody? You're going to have to pay me mm, 10 to to $100, and then I'll give you, like, their criminal background report, and I'll give you all their previous addresses, and I'll give you every relative that's ever been linked to them ever, and, like... Like, it feels sketchy. Like, I'm not giving any random website money to know that much about somebody. I don't care. Like, I would love to just be able to look up their phone number and not have to go through all that. Um. Now what? Now what do we do? The New Yorker didn't really... I didn't, yeah. I didn't talk to him about anything, really. Twice, come on. Dude wouldn't really reveal fuck all. Let's do it again. So what? I know he played in a band called the Sea Sharks. I guess we just have to keep doing. And something Isaac obviously Brown. went wrong. What was it? Listen, have you tried asking Mr. Sharp? Yes. He's not talking. I don't blame him. He's probably feeling guilty. Guilty? Do we? Ass Why? Are we assuming he has this his murder? Could you? Uh, I don't know. Tell me what those reasons are. I can't do that. Of course he can't. God. Mr. Mitchell. Listen, I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac or his sister. Sister? Sister, you Sister? Say. Uh, please, I'm not going to say anymore. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, not another word. Fine. I'd like to read your piece about Isaac. Uh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I never published it. You didn't? No, it seemed a bit in bad taste. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Suspicious. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Ah, uh, you don't have a high opinion of journalists, do you? Well, you hear things. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'm well aware of the stereotype. I have written about deceased persons before when I felt it was in the public's interest. But Isaac, well, I felt the man deserved some peace. If you felt his story could reach people, Enrich them, as you say. Why didn't you publish the story? Listen, Miss Blackwell. Isaac didn't just die. He was murdered. Someone what? reached around his neck and strangled the life right out of him. That puts a bit of a damper on the story I wanted to tell. 
So nobody will hear the story. Murder! All my notes on him have been destroyed. Isaac's story might not have reached the people, but it reached me. Maybe that's enough. I, 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 I think that's all for now. <laughs> all right. You have a good night now. Thank you for the sound, but he's air. Color me shook. Absolutely shooketh. We always assume it's murder, apparently. Um, where do we take this information? I guess... I guess back to C. Maybe he knows the sister. Maybe she's the... Look in the photograph. Cecil? What? Cecil! Uh... I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. You... Oh. That's... It! Uh -oh. You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now you've done it. Uh... Ooh. I don't... I don't know what that emotion is. Hold up. Contrition. Hmm. Now you know. Contrition. Uh... Look, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Oh. Sorry and enough, sister. Leave. Fine, I'm going. You really have a way with the fellas, kid. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. His bark is worse than his bite. Look what the cat dragged in. Hello, Cecil. It's me. Look, obviously something's wrong. Why don't you try talking about it? What is this? Some kind of psychotherapy? Yes. You're here to get me to open up about my feelings? Absolutely. I'm here for Isaac. He's not worth it, and neither are you. Just get out of here. I'll leave, but I'll be back. Um. Well, that certainly worked wonders. We'll have to change our tactics if we uh, want to get him to talk. I never, I never know what to I do know with that Joey. expression. Only time a man gets a look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Uh -oh. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. Uh oh. Are we allowed to smoke? A you door? just don't give up, dude. I guess do it you? is the '70s. Hello, Cecil. You Let's loved her, love. didn't you? Of course I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would have... Damn you, woman. Damn you. Nailed I just it. want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? God broke a heart. So what happened, C? It's very important that you tell me. All right. All right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested, but you're never going to leave me alone, are you? No. No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Dun, then dun, he died. Dun. End of story. Oh, they're both dead? Uh -huh. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was nice. looking to start a Sarah band. Brown. And I saw them perform together. She could sing like... It was magic. Such energy. Such life. Such a waste. What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sax. But that really was the feel. end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She so, was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. So he got drunk and angry and killed his sister. And then Cecil killed him? Yes? What happened to Sarah? She got sick. Pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, Immediately the spark wrong. just went out. She hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. It's always murder until it's what not. What happened to Isaac Is after that the Sarah assumption died? He went to pieces. On? What do you think? Uh, he couldn't cope. Drank way too much. Started fights during gigs. Oof. I tried to stick with him out of respect for Sarah, but let's face it. He was a big, dumb embarrassment. What happened So you cut him? ties with Isaac? Completely. Told him he was a drunk and a lowlife and wasn't worth the peanuts I paid him. Which was, let's face it, totally true. What happened? He beat me senseless is what happened. Knocked me out with the sacks I bought for him. Then he became a bum. Spent the rest of his Oof. life living on the streets of Roosevelt Island till he got killed by some drifter. You don't know who killed Isaac. 
Yes, I killed him. Oh, come on. No, I did. I'm not the one who put my hands around his neck or choked him to death, but I killed him just the same. You shouldn't be so hard I on yourself. Guess you're gonna I know mess that. My brain knows that. But my heart. No, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Hello, hello. We can try this, but I highly doubt. <laughs> I highly doubt it'll work. Um. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Shit. I gotta get that fixed. Somebody remind me. I got this though. Guys, if you are not following Noob, please go check her out. Wonderful streamer, does a lot of detective games. I think you're currently working on Sherlock, yes? The newest Sherlock? Noob, welcome, there you are, hello, hello. Welcome, Blecko, welcome, Crafty, Malcolm, Mock, hello, guys, hello, hello. So many people are playing API, I know, right? This is so popular right now. <laughs> Stupid. Richie, welcome. Hi, guys. Thank you for the raid, noob. Crimes and punishment. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Old Sherlock. She did the train one. Sherlock games are so good. You've come to the right place if you're here for more mystery, then. We're solving a murder. I think it's the Murloc one, right? No, Murloc one was Devil's daughter i already tried that cookie it didn't work it didn't work i got this though <laughs> the train one went well only a few innocent people went to prison oh no what have what did you do i haven't got a case right yet but i still claim the moral victory oh no <laughs> you're doing you're doing your best you're doing your best not everyone can be a sherlock uh, level detective. Some of those cases are hard, too. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you for gifting us up to Noob. Noob, welcome back to the Superheroes. Happy eight months. Welcome, welcome back. Air, thank you so much for gifting that sub. At least someone was punished for something. That's true. Um, uh, have we finished talking about Sarah? Time? I told you everything. Please. Just. Okay. Can you tell me anything else about Isaac? No, I've told you everything. All right, I guess we're done. Later, See you later, my guy. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah, a duet at the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano, if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. Get my dictaphone Isaac ready. Oh, that no. that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh, well. Why would I want to record that? Why would I want- Why would I want to record- That's a no. That's a no from her. Can we talk to what? him about it? What was oh, the yeah, duet yeah, that yeah, Isaac yeah. and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. It was he's just not, a short he's not playing thing. The right thing. Isaac yet. would just improv the whole thing. But Sarah's was always the same. Went something like... to my dictaphone after sarah died isaac would play gigs but refused to leave the stage he'd blow on his sax playing anything that came to mind feet planted like a statue he'd just keep playing he'd play forever if i didn't get four guys to drag him off <laughs> i think i think he was waiting for sarah to play with him he was supposed to finish each show with her and well in his heart he refused to believe she was dead uh, noob, I know you like detective games. Uh, I highly recommend these games. They're called the Blackwell games. Um, this is the second one, Blackwell Unbound. Unbounded? Uh, anybody who doesn't know who just came in and is like, why are we talking to this jazz man? Uh, we are Sarah. I think that's her name? <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know her name. Uh, Lauren. Laura. Laura. Lord help me. Uh, and this is Joey. And uh, we are a ghost mystery murder duo. So uh, we are trying to solve the case of this dead sax player right now. Could you play that song again? Yeah, sure. Why not? Nice. Got it. 
think I've recorded enough. Why did I just leave? I guess, okay. I guess we're just done with the conversation. Bye, Cecil. That was weird. Uh, let's go to where the ghosty is. See if he doesn't want to hear this beautiful music. Uh, in the game universe, can other people see the ghost or just you? Uh, just us. Nobody else can see the ghost but us, and it's it's made us look crazy. Um, this is technically a prequel to the first game. In the first game, we played as uh, her niece, and she was just learning about like Joey and how he he essentially gets attached to a female um, in their family like every generation um so this is technically a prequel and uh all of the women in our family eventually get committed to insane asylums because we just look that shit because we're talking to ghosts and shit so um that's that's what we're up to it's part of the blackwell legacy yes yeah, yeah, yeah. uh let's give this man a nice show I was about to say like nothing comes out. It's gonna it's gonna make him lose his mind. Look, he can finally finish his show because we're playing the closing. Aww. Guys, we're gonna help him move on. How sweet. You play some good jazz. Black Oak, is that you right now? You jamming to the jazz? How beautiful. Oh. He's going. Hi. Sis? Is that you, sis? Yep, it's me. I've been waiting for so long. Yes, yep. Isaac. It's me, your sister. Sarah? Sarah. Sarah's the sister. What That's happened? Lauren's my You've real name. You turned white. Um. You're not my sis. No, oh. I'm not. No, you couldn't be. He could caught you? on. My sister's dead, isn't she? It's yeah. Through my ruse. Now I'm dead too. Yeah. I knew that. Deep down, I knew that. I just couldn't let go. I'm sorry. Is that why you two are here? To help me let go? That's what we do best. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Don't worry. At least your soul, just my man. Everything to us. Here, just take this. Whatever you say. Hold on tight. This is the fun part. To the other dimension. Hi, Isaac. Hey, this is it, huh? Yep, eternity, Bye, the white lad. light, the passage into the next world. Is something alright. Still can't believe I'm dead. Crazy old lady, she killed me. Old lady? The crazy old lady? Said she wanted to help me. Then she chokes me. Oh, Why she want to go and do a thing like that? I'm sorry, I wish I knew. I don't oh care shit. About it anyway, it's time I joined my sis. Guys, the Just crazy old lady. lady. Thanks, lady. You've been real kind. And uh, tell your friends sorry for the crack over the head. <laughs> Great. Day. Didn't we fight the devil in the first game? Rest. Yes, I think we did. Rest. Kind of. That's a nice word. Goodbye, lad. Oh my god, crazy lady's here. Uh... Joey? Yeah, hi. Glad you're up. It's gonna strike you, me. Did you... Did you save him? Yeah. Yeah, Maybe? sure, we saved him. Joey? Oh, Is she yeah. talking to you? Yeah, go figure. Thank you, both of you. I only wanted to save them. Isaac told me he was killed by an old woman. Was that you? Embra, thank I'd you for the resub. Just like you. Happy Who 26 are you? months. I am the Countess. Countess? The Countess. Countess of what? It's the only name I know. Hold on, this is drama. Hold on. I saved them. I helped them. I. I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. She's Don't just stand shit. there. Let's get after her. She's absolute bad shit. Thank you for the reset and props. Welcome back to the superheroes. How She's are you? Spry Welcome. For an old lady. Spry my foot. 
You couldn't outrun a one-legged turtle with those lungs. Don't start wow. with me, okay? Rude. We're gonna have another cigarette. She saw Joey. Leave it to a crazy homeless lady to I'm not moving from see our ghost. She likes to have a cigarette after every no, case. No, huh? I'm not doing that again. The kid can find her own damn loose change. Enjoy the stream. All the best. Thank you, Richie. Thank you for popping in to say hi. I hope you have a wonderful night. See you next time. I'm tired AF. My plane got delayed in Minneapolis last night, so I didn't get back uh, home until like 2 a.m. Jesus. Did you just wake up? Sucking on a cancer stick. Absolutely, she hey is. There. Nobody that old should move that fast. Just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Joey, she could see you. How could she do that? I don't know. But I think this case just got a hell of a lot more complicated. Fantastic. Nice. He's done, and we got more notes. The Countess. Dress. She's a strange old woman dressed in rags. All right, well, uh, I guess we head back to the construction site. I don't know what else to do. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's right behind you. The other case. Uh, so now we're on to our second case. Uh, all we know about this one is that there is a ghost in a construction site. Um, she thinks that she is in her apartment building, um, and she won't talk to us unless we knock on the door. <laughs> That's all I'm I got. I'm going for in this again. One. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if maybe this new information can't spur something in her. We have like three things in our notebook now. Hey, kid, knock on the gate again. Mom, I'm, I'm popular today. today. Oh, oh, you again. I'd like to ask you. Look, look I'm not who. I. You do, uh, no, you. I feel is good. Okay, so trying to get rid of me, will they? Let me... Hey. There was one way that we could... Ma. Oh. oh. Now we have to investigate the trailer? Thanks for okay, yeah, fine. This lady's not gonna talk to us. We couldn't investigate the trailer before. What changed? Even if... Which I... It would be... We read the letter There's now? not much I... What do you want me... We look at the blueprints? What do you want me... We look at... We look through the trash? Can't do anything. What am I supposed to just to keep up just to keep up appearances? I can't take Seagram doing I can't take the sign. No. I can't take the sign. He's useless. It says Seagram Realty. I guess they're the guys who own this construction outfit. Oh. Hmm. The name under the picture is this is how we get Farrah him to read Fawcett. shit? I wonder if she likes dead guys. Can we, can we, can we go to the white pages and look up Farrah Fawcett? I can't make heads or tails out of this thing. Oh. Read the letter. Let's take a look-see. Dear Mr. Foreman. Thank you. Boy came to collect the garbage. A true raccoon. Uh, dear Mr. Foreman, I was hoping you could help me. I have tried speaking to your boss, but he ignores my calls. The agreement, I believe, was $230 a month for five years. However, since the move, I have only been receiving $225 a month. Can you please send someone with the $60 i am entitled to? I'll come myself, but it's hard for me to get around these days. Mrs. Harriet Sherman. That sounds about right. I asked about right-click because you were stuck in the last game. You never used right-click. I just... I don't know why I never consider it a thing. It's not a control. Write down Harriet Sherman. My real guess quick. is that she's not too happy with the foreman. Harriet Sherman. I have no idea who she is, but any lead is a good lead. Cool. That's probably good enough. Hey, My Julie, home. welcome. Hello, hello. How's it going? Uh. I think we go white pages, maybe? That broad really hacked. You should try flowers next time. Or are we maybe, hold up, Eric, do I need to talk to her about stuff before I leave this screen? <laughs> do I need to talk to her? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll wait. 
white pages. Okay. All right. White pages time. I'm not getting anywhere with this lady anyway, so. So difficult. All right. Back. You're <laughs> you were gone. Rude, Lauren. Let's go home. We solved the murder, caught some drama. Now we're on to the next case. Yeah, we just started our next case. So there's a dead woman uh, floating around a construction site. I'm not ready for a nap. I, I didn't tell you to take a nap. Harriet German. Got her. There's a phone number, but no address. Is this Harriet Sherman? Who is this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. What do you want? That's a great question. Um, I'm calling from Seagram Realty. I, 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 yeah. Why didn't you say? <laughs> You've got my sixty dollars. Do you really think um, you're gonna stop Yes, I do. But before I give it to you, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Fine, fine, fine. It, is, it was. It Come was on, by and I'll time. answer whatever you want. Twenty-four Rector, down in Battery Park City. Rector. Just buzz up. So, Joey. Yeah? Got any spare cash on you? Sorry, left my wallet in my other pants. Probably the pair I was buried in. Mm. Um, uh, the first the first case was a murder. Uh, we ended up learning that the guy was strangled by a crazy old homeless around. woman, so. Uh, I gotta take off. I'm not feeling well. Lovely to see you. Bye. Okay, Noob, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you feel better. Go get some rest. Come on, thank you, thank let's you get so out of here. Thank you so much for bringing right me your wonderful you. peeps. See you next time, noob. Let's go to Harriet Sherman's. It's open! I'm back here in the kitchen! Look at her little puppy. Harriet? Mrs. Sherman, if him? you don't mind. You from Seagram Realty? Yes. Have you got my money? I wanted to ask you a few questions first. You're welcome to ask me anything you'd like. After you give me the money. You got it? Where am I gonna get the um, money? I thought just another get and All right, wait, where am I gonna get the money? I don't have any money. Is that a wallet? No, it's still a newspaper. Where am I gonna get money? My jacket? I don't need to wear my coat. Okay, well, that's not exactly what I was asking. Uh, I'm not I ready for a nap. Dig through the couch and find sixty dollars. <laughs> oh, the rainy day fund! That's what this is. Rainy day jar. Hmm. It's a rainy day the things fund. Things I'll do for a case. Got it. Come on, Smart. let's get out of here. Right behind you. Nobody explained what the rainy day jar was. For whatever reason, my mind pictured it as a snow globe. So. Graham Graham's gonna break your kneecaps. Epic welcome. He, she definitely Mrs. is. Mrs. Sherman? Hello again. You got my money this time? I sure do. It's about time. Damn, Grandma, Give down. it here. Jesus, Grandma, 60 bucks. Here you go. Hmm. It's all here. Sure enough. I'd say thanks if I hadn't had to fight tooth and nail to get it. What teeth, you old bat? Don't worry about it. Oh, Joey. I won't. Joey, now, Jesus. you wanted to ask me something? So tell me about yourself. Me? What do you want to know? Your name came up during an investigation I'm working Lady. on. Investigation? Don't you work for Seagram Realty? Not exactly. Ah. You just use them as a way to get to me, huh? Correct. Yes. Is that a problem? Oh, not at all. Just, just don't expect bucks. your money back. She's all heart. This is me as a grandma. Give me my, give me my money, bitch. Um, what can you tell me about the construction site on 53rd Street? You've been there? How's the old place looking? It's a big hole in the ground. Ha! Can only be an improvement. I, I used can't. to live there. Then Seagram Realty bought it and tore it down. Going to build something new and fancy, no doubt. I can't tell you guys how much this, like, wallpaper border of seashells... How much that fits the grandma aesthetic. Like, I cannot. This is so spot on. Um, they kicked you out of your own home? No big loss. The place was a dump. Wow. Plus, they wanted it so badly that they paid most of us a monthly stipend just to leave. Pretty generous, actually. I can almost forgive them for nearly robbing me. 
Oh my god, no errors. <laughs> Old Lady Miro. Can you imagine a grandma? Oh, do, are there any grandma streamers? Man, I, I wish I was 80 years old right now. The heights I aspire to. I want to be an old lady streamer. I want to be first grandma streamer. There has to be some, right? I'll find them. I found a uh, an old lady like YouTuber. She's uh, like, say in her 70s. Uh, and she games a lot and is the cutest thing. She's the sweetest thing. And she does like collector's edition unboxings and talks about video games. And like, I just want to be her best friend. You have no idea. You'll be an old lady streamer if you keep up at it. That's true. That's true. You guys age me by like five years every year. So we're almost there. <laughs> Already got dementia, memory loss. We're working our way. Here's a big one. Yeah, I think it's that one. She doesn't stream though. She's just a YouTuber. She's just, she's the cutest thing. Um. So they on. paid you money to leave. Yep. Like I said, it was a pretty generous deal. Building was about to be condemned anyway. So everyone was grateful for the offer. Well. Everyone except for Mavis Wilcox. Mavis Wilcox. I'm writing that down. Even though she wrote it down for me. You have at least two more crow's feet since I've been around? Correct. Accurate, yes. More wrinkles. I'm also going blind. Horrible things. Who is Mavis Wilcox? Made to witness. A lunatic is what she was. Wow. She lived down the hall from me. Tell me how so you I know how crazy she was. Why was she Julie, crazy? no! She refused to leave is why. <laughs> Secret was age. offering yep. her a fortune, be young. but still Thanks. she refused. Thanks, Julie, for the savities. Thanks for that uh, extra 60 years. Uh, listen, might have dementia, but at least you don't have dementia. Man, yeah, wouldn't it be bad if I, like, had dementia? Oh. Why did Mavis refuse to leave? She was a lunatic. I believe I already established this. A total shut-in. The prospect of leaving her little apartment terrified her. I'm old and feeble. If I could manage the move, old she could have. Feeble. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Hashtag regret. I feel bad now. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We all needed the the wake up the wake up call. What Mira doesn't remember is this is the fourth time she's played this game. What? God, can you imagine if I just started repeating the same games we've already played like they were brand new? To be fair, um, I've been doing that with TV shows and movies, so like we're not far off. To be fair, they were like TV shows I didn't really pay attention to. Did they ever get Mavis to leave? Oh, you could say that. Yes, you could definitely say that. She left all right. Left the entire world, in fact. You mean she died? Murder? Yes. Someone broke in and choked her to death. Right in the apartment she loved so much. I'd call it ironic if it weren't so tragic. I want to know what this weird thing is on our counter. Did they ever find out who killed Mavis? No. Some street kid, most likely. Thought the building was empty and went in to steal whatever was left over. Didn't count on anyone being there. Bumped into Mavis, then had to kill her. Happens all the time. Bumped into Mavis, then had to kill her? Great movie should watch called Pandorum. Listen, I still don't know. I don't remember any of that movie except for the floor. I don't, I don't understand. I do need to rewatch it though. That will never happen. You'll always be 12. Oh, no. How well did you know Mavis? Like I said, I lived just down the hall from her on the third floor. I didn't know her well, but she did get some mail just before they smashed the place up. I took it just in case a relative or something came looking. Mm -hmm. But sure, it's been sure. six months and nothing. Can I have that mail? Anything else you can... Just that she lived. There's nothing. Okay. Uh, Do you know anything about a strange old woman wandering the streets? Might as well. Mm, funny you mention that. Whoa. Really? I once saw a strange old woman wandering the hallway back oh. in the old building. 
I yelled at her to leave, I and she, she did. The other one. I doubt that she was the one you're looking for, though. Uh, okay, but the world is full of strange old ladies, not unlike myself. I think she'll let me. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. Oh. No, you automatically leave. We can't touch anything in our house. And now I'm now I've left her house. God damn it. Harriet. It's open! Harriet, please, Harriet. Mrs. Sh Hello, you got Yes, I Well, I ain't Do you still have Mavis's things? Yes, I do. Such as they are. There wasn't much. Just that envelope on the counter. Could could I look be? at it? You knew Mavis? Sort of. Yes. Well, you might as well take a look at them. Nobody else has come looking. Look how this grandma's just casually sipping a glass of wine tonight. Her slippers. Thanks. Do you have a painting missing? Let me touch that dog. Can I pet that Goodbye, dog? Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't Can I pet that dog? Well, let me. Zero out of ten. Worst game. Might as well go here. I don't know. I don't know what's in here. There's but... not much in here. Just a photograph and a letter. Dear Mrs. Wilcox, thank you for agreeing to speak with me the other day. As promised, I am returning the photograph you left me. All the best, Jim Mitchell. That's her. That's the ghost at the construction site. So our ghost's name is Mavis Wilcox. I'd bet the farm on it. Well, sounds like we need to go back to Mr. Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell! Mr. Reporter, man who does nothing yes. but sit at his desk. What I'm becoming downright popular. Come in, have a seat. Hey, Paladin, welcome! You pet the dog? Uh, I missed you come in. But how's it going? Did you know Mavis Wilcox? Miss Wilcox? Yes, I remember her. Lived up down a ways before she died. How did you know her? I wanted to write a piece about her, so I met her for a spell. Interesting woman. How did you know her? I'm looking into her death. I see. Is this reporter going to get suspicious as to why we keep looking into all these dead people? So what can you tell me about Mavis? I get the impression she didn't get out much. That's an understatement. I got in touch with her through a colleague who was covering that demolition. I wondered what made a woman like that tick, so I made an appointment to meet with her. What was she like? A very gracious woman. Brought me in, made me a cup of tea, showed me pictures of a family. All in all, it was a pleasant way to spend an afternoon. What happened to her? Killed, so they say. Was found choked to death in her own apartment. Mm. Any thoughts on who did it? Strangled, well, there were rumors that the labor union decided to take matters into their own hands, as it were. But I doubt that. The police ruled it was some squatter or drifter or something, and left it at that. And what do you think? Me? Counter strikes I have again. A theory. Do you know anything about a strange old woman wandering the streets? I've met plenty of strange old women, Miss Blackwell. Some stranger than others. Can you give me some more details? She calls herself the Countess. Mr. Mitchell? I'm thinking. No. I can safely say I've never set eyes on this woman. Thank you for I'm thinking. I'm sorry. We didn't ask if he'd set eyes on her. We asked if he'd heard anything. So, mm, suspicious. Are you sure you've never met a woman like that? No, I've never met a woman like that. Why did you want to write about mm -hmm. her? I found her fascinating. She was asked to leave. She Very was sus. begged to leave. She was even offered lots of money to leave. But she kept refusing. She was too scared. I had to know why. And what did you discover? That, Miss Blackwell, is the eternal question. I've spoken to hundreds of people over the years. Most of them were odder than Mavis. It's impossible to decipher the whys and the hows. As time went on, I've contented myself just with the what's. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? I'm afraid I've told you everything. How is she linked to the reporter? I have no idea. You've interviewed her once. I'd like to read your piece about Mavis. I'm afraid I no longer have it. Do you know what issue it was in? I'd like to look it up. I never published it. I was going to, but then Mavis died and it just seemed just... wrong somehow. I don't even have the rough copies anymore. I'm sorry. Write shit that never I gets think published? That's all, that's all for he now. does is sit at his desk all right. and write stuff that never makes it now. to print. This man seems like a waste of company resources. Where are your published stories? Okay. Um. Maybe we can have a conversation now? We have a little bit more information about this lady. Give it a go. Doubt. I'm going in again. Yeah, yeah.
Hey, kid. My. Oh, it's me. Right, let's I it. have something to tell you. Oh? There's no delicate way to put this. You're dead. Pardon, Pardon me? Dead and buried. You're Come a ghost out. haunting a wasteland. You're unbalanced. Tell me what you want before I call the police. Okay, that didn't go great. I'd like to ask- Look, I'm not- Who are- I am- Oh, we've added her husband and her son. We're definitely not a husband. It's me. Your son. Sam? Sam? Yep, that's, that's, that's me. me. Sam. Sam! It's been so long. Look at you! Yeah, look at me. Sorry, I was so rude. I almost didn't recognize you. Come on in, Sam. I'll make you dinner. Ah, uh, no, I, I can only stay for a minute. I have some questions I need to ask you. Of course, Sam. Uh, not publishing a story on a murdered woman because wrong. Not how journalism works. Yeah, right? We called him out on that last time because he said that the first time. He was like, oh, I didn't publish a story on him because he died and it just felt uh, uh, not nice to do. And we were like, mm, that's not that's not journalism, my man. I'm telling you, he's not great. Um. So, Mom, the start of the how's it going? Oh, you know me, Sam. It's tough living here on my own, but I get by. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, Mom, I need you to think very carefully. What's the last thing you remember? What do you mean? Answering the door and seeing you, of course. And before that? Nothing. You know nobody comes here. Except for the grocer sometimes. And that... That who? Nobody. So, Mom, Sus. how are my brothers and or sisters? That's not funny, Sam. You know you're an only child. Right, just checking. How's Dad, Mom? Oh, Sam, you know that your father is dead? John Durkin died years ago. Uh, John Durkin! Right. Sorry. Just in case. I doubt we'll need it, but John Durkin. So what can you tell me about me? You're so confusing, Sam. Never mind. Tell me about myself. Do you know a guy named John Durkin? Is that a joke, Sam? You know he's been dead for ten years. Ah, uh, sorry. How can you forget he was your father? Slip my mind. Slip your mind? Just look, forget it. Uh, I'm going to I'll come. Sure, sure, Sam. I'll be. I have an idea. I have an idea. I feel like we should use the white pages again. Uh, this time to look for a Sam Wilcox and or Sam Durkin. I'm back. Depending. You're gone. Um, let's go see if we can find anything about about a man. That's my that's my idea. That's the whole idea. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> look a man up. Could be good. Could get a uh, fuck all for results. We'll see. Take a minute to pop on her cigarette before closing the door. Crucial. Uh, Sam will 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 Cox. Hmm. I thought for sure that would work. All right. Sam Dirk Durkin. Hmm. I thought for sure. Damn it. Neither. Hmm. He's wearing a Columbia University sweatshirt. This kid doesn't look too happy to be with Mavis. Hmm. Columbia University. Nice. Here's the number. University operator speaking. Incredible. How may I direct your call? Um. Connect me to Sam, please. Do you have a last name, ma'am? Of course I do. It's. Crap. Joey, what's the kid's name? You're asking me? No. Shit, we gotta I don't know his last name. Then there's person. not much. Do you want. Thanks, Annie. Hold up. Hold up. We gotta do the thing. If John Durkin was Sam's father. It's only logical that Sam's last name would be Durkin. Okay, 
There we go. My bad. Vegan. Turns out it was darkin' the whole time. I be sleuthing. How I'm doing it. That's know, hardly relevant. I know all the, the How tricks How about now. Sam Durkin? Is there a Sam Durkin listed? Sam Durkin, yes. Hold, please. It's about time. I feel like universities don't do this. They don't just direct you to children in their university, Durkin. do they? Is this Sam? Yeah. Who's this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping to ask you a few questions about your mother. Oh. Questions, huh? Yeah. All right. I'll bite. How do you know my mom? Mama! Uh... A neighbor? Investigator. I'm investigating her death. Let's go with that. Oh, you're a cop, are you? Because my dad was a cop. I know people. I can check. No, I'm not a cop. I didn't cop. think so. Just a concerned citizen, huh? That's right. Somehow I don't believe you. Nobody in their right mind would be concerned about my mom. Whether you believe me or not, it can't hurt to talk to me. Maybe. Maybe not. But if you knew her, you'd know what apartment number she was in. I would? Sure you would. She never left the damn place. So what was it? Three. Three D, wasn't it? All yeah. right, so maybe you did know her. Thanks. Thank you. So what do you want to know about it? Um. What do you know her about death? her death? It was suicide. Oh. She killed herself? She choked Not herself? Not literally, but it was like she chose to die. She had every opportunity to leave. They were going to pay her and find her a new place and everything. I tried to get her out, but that's my mom. She couldn't be dragged out of that dump by anybody or anything. Or take her money. Do you know who killed her? She was killed by some junkie, wasn't she? So they say. You think different? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, good luck to you. Um... How close were you with your mother? Close. Think of the farthest place you can, and add another 10,000 miles. That's how Damn. close we were. Woman wasn't a mother, just crazy on wheels. How? Wow. Did Mavis Tell me ever really feel, Sammy? Never. Not once in the last 15 years. You don't seem upset by her death. Upset? Sure, she was my mom. <laughs> oh my God, but am I going to lose sleep? No. <laughs> She drove my pop out of the house and into an early grave. I once thought I'd follow in his footsteps, but not anymore. The woman didn't go anywhere, never did anything. She was killing me just by existing. Now I feel like I can breathe again. That's the truth. What was it like living with her? You kidding? I lived with my pop. After three years of marriage, he had enough. Glad he had the sense to take me with him. And after your father died? I got by. You never visited your mother? Yeah, I visited her on Mother's Day, if that's what you want to know. Even got her a present once. Really? Uh -oh. Yeah, for all the good it did. What did you give your mom What'd for you Mother's get her? Day? I don't think that's any of your business, lady. It's been years. Just dust in the ground now. Thank you. Bye, Sam. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Uh, maybe we go ask. Come on, let's get out of here. Right Are behind you. About, about the present? I don't know what to do with this information. Oh, maybe we could ask. Wait a minute. Well, no, she wouldn't know. I was gonna say we could go ask uh, Sherman. I'm going in Mary again. Sherman, but... Yeah, yeah. I don't know why she would have the present. Hey, Thanks. kid. My, Hi. I'm popular, popular today. today. Oh. Hi. Um. Hey, mom. Do you have that present I gave you? Which, Which present, present was that? that? Never mind. So what can you do? Never mind. Mm, Mom, okay. are you sure? You're so can look, look at the door. I'm going to call. Sure. I'll be here. They, they have, have no maybe right. Maybe no she does know about right. the present then. Uh, uh, there's a detective you ran into in the Unavowed game. You were gone? Do you know what his name was? Sam Durkin! Oh my god, was it? 
Man, it's been so long since we played that game. Hell yes. Sammy boy becomes a detective. Uh, that's cute. I love that. I love when they do nods to their other games. It's open! Alright, let's grill this lady. Mrs. Sherman? Hello, you got me. Yes, I Well, I ain't getting any- Um... Do you know any college kids named Sam? No, never heard of him. Did she didn't even talk about him? Do you know any- No. Do you know any- No. Hmm. Do you know a John Durkin? No. Do you know anything about this picture? I don't know the boy, but that was Mavis's living room. If Mavis had a son, I never saw him. Well, that wasn't helpful. Goodbye, Mrs. Dunman. Maybe. <laughs> the reporter. Yes. I'm becoming. I highly doubt this will go anywhere, but we can try. The only other option is to run through all of the present ideas and see if something sticks, but... Now that you mention it... Oops. Yes. Nice. She showed me a leather-bound edition of Alice in Wonderland and said it was from her son. Alice in Wonderland? Yes, by Lewis Carroll. Yeah, I've heard of it. All right. What was that present Mavis got? It was a... Okay. That's all I, I needed. Think... Right, Thank you. you. Good... good day, sir. Sam is a unisex name. Can't assume him straight away. That's true. You're not wrong. What? 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 What is this present gonna do? The gate for is me? locked. I don't even know why I was searching. I'm for the going. Present. I yeah, just yeah. knew that I needed to know. I needed to know what this gift was. Hey, I'm kid. To convince her of something. Ma. Oh. Hi. About the which pre The book. Alice in Wonderland. Of course I still have it. It was the only Mother's Day gift you ever bought me, Sam. Can I see it? Whatever for. Come on, Ma. I just want to see it. Sure, Sam. It's right on the table. Great. Uh, why don't you bring it out here? You mean, pick it up? Oh, yeah, blow pick it mind. up and bring it over. Pick it up. Sure, I can pick it up. Oh! Oh, no! What? I'm dead! The book! It's gone! Gone, huh? Imagine that. Somebody, Somebody stole, it. stole it! Sam, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm, I'm so, so, so sorry. sorry. That's not the conclusion. Question her mothering ability! Jesus! Oh no! Our table! It's broken! You can't pick up the book because it's not there. Sam? The book's not there and neither is the table, right? What? what? Think! The book's gone, the table's gone, the whole room is gone. Sam, Sam you're, you're awful. awful. I'm upset, upset and, and I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Don't, Don't make, make it, it worse, worse, please. Well, oh, yeah. Work. Alpha, welcome. Thank you for the resub. A happy 49 months. Welcome back to the superheroes. Hello, hello. How's it going? Thank you for the resub. Uh, I guess we question our mothering ability. You need to find that book, Mom. I don't know if I can love a mother who loses my gifts. You don't mean that. I mean it, Mom. You need to tell me where the book is. But I don't know where to look. Uh, Maybe it's hallway? out here, Mom. In the hallway? Sure, in the hallway. Yeah, I'm sure it's out here. Come on out and help me look. Oh, okay, okay Sam. Sam. But, but only, only for you. For you. I... I still, I still don't, don't see it anywhere. Where is the Let's try rate? further down, Mom. Oh, we gotta pop through the gate. I'm, I'm outside. Yeah, I knew you could do it, Mom. Mom? Sam? Sam, Sam, Sam where, where are, are we? we? I'm, I'm scared. scared. I'm right here. You're Mom, dead. I need you to do something. What? Turn around. I can't. Sure you can. Just turn around and look behind you. Oh, where's the building? Where's my apartment? Where's my home? It's gone! Those bastards, they tore it down! You, you made me leave and they tore it down! Hey, calm down. I've got nothing now. Mom. I am not your mother. You are not my son. My son hates me. 
All I had left was my home, and then... Then I... Oh, God! Oh! She's fizzling! We got a fizzler! Are you happy now? You couldn't just leave me there. You had to bring me out. You had to make me remember. You're welcome. I'm sorry. It's horrible. Being dead, it's horrible. You get used to it. I... I don't want to feel like this anymore. Everything is so dark and cold. Can I go home now? Sure. Sure, I can take you home. Just hold on to this. Grab my cravat. Over to you, kid. Right. Bloop. Into the other dimension. Oh my god. Nevis? It's so bright and big. It just goes on forever. I just want to go home. Please, can I go home? I think that's the only home you've got now. It's I'm sorry. Home. What a legacy. Welcome home. Husband gone and dead. My son hates my guts. My home is gone. My life over. I remember that too. Dying, I mean. That old woman choking me. Old Our woman? Countess. She just came in and You're right, Blacko. The Countess she said strikes she was again. Going to help me. Uh, well, what now? The it's light made us just head towards it. It's the biggest mystery of them all. And then... I don't know. I'm scared, but it feels right somehow. You got oh, this. John, Sam, I'm so sorry for everything. I wish I could feel sorry for you, but I don't feel much of anything anymore. Best of Jeez. luck, Jesus wherever Lord. you are. She's really given up. You all right? Yeah, fine. I'm exhausted. Call it a night? Sounds good to me. Oh, you, but wait! Like the crazy clockwork. homeless woman! You saved her! Yeah, sure we did. Did it. No thanks to you. That was me. We've got some questions for you, lady. Why did you kill Isaac and Mavis? I didn't kill them! I'm like you! You're nothing like us. We don't kill. I help spirits into the next world! Like you! You mean... you're a medium? Yes! But... you can't be. I am like you! Wait, no. This doesn't make any sense. Why are you killing people? I save people! I don't hurt them! Get back here! She, like, thinks their souls Stupid are trapped old in their bodies or something. Let's get after her. So she helps release them. Damn, we didn't catch her again, huh? God damn it. Your nose okay? That lamppost should not have been there. <laughs> Time for another smoke. Oh, I am Joey. What am I supposed to do? Oh, you're supposed to come over here. Get no. Go. Get over here, Joey. Get. Feeling better? I'm so confused, Joey. I feel like the answer is on the tip of my tongue. I just can't figure it out. Well, let's chat for a while. Brainstorm a bit. Maybe we'll come up with something. Um... She's a medium like me. It makes no sense. It does make sense, actually. She's not an animal or another ghost. The only way she could see me is if she was a medium like you. You save people all the time? Are you admitting to murder? Her. Seems like she doesn't care for herself. She really doesn't. Lauren? Absolutely not. She doesn't give a shit about anything anymore. Um, we smoke like a pack a day. Why would a medium kill? Maybe she doesn't think of it as killing. She did say she helped people, saved them. I think them. she thinks she's set up killing them? souls free. Maybe she felt they were better off dead? I don't think so. Mavis and Isaac were sad mixed up people, but they didn't deserve to die. Maybe she thinks otherwise. Um... She can see this ghost. She's the only person, besides the crazy homeless lady, uh, that can see him, and uh, it's kind of like her forced destiny, and she just doesn't really accept it. Um, and the rest of her family think she's batshit crazy. And uh, I think eventually they put her in an institution? I don't remember. 
Um, so she's just like, doesn't really care for her life anymore. Um, is she my future? What do you mean? That woman, the countess, or whatever she's called. Is that what happens to mediums when they get old? I, I don't know, darling. I really don't. But I won't let that happen to you. You have my word on that. If she's a medium, where is her spirit guide? You know, I wondered that myself. I'm your connection to the spirit world. The Countess, or whoever she is, doesn't have that. Or at least none that we can see. Is it possible to be a medium without a guide? I don't think so, sweetheart. That's one thing I'm sure of. Medium and guide. That's how it works. What could have happened to her spirit guide? I don't know. I thought you couldn't leave my side. I know. Either her spirit guide managed to escape, or... Or what? Or it was killed. Is that possible? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. She stops freeing souls to take care of Rosa, then goes crazy. Then gets locked up in that. Okay, so she does get locked up. But eventually she stops working with Joey to take care of Rosa. Uh, Blacko, I don't know if you saw the first game, uh, but we played it where we play as Rosa, this girl's niece. Um who then gets attached to Joey and you learn like how every generation of women in this family Joey just latches on to and then you solve murder mysteries with so ghosts. So what could her connection be? Dunno. Something has to connect her to the spirit world. It's not another ghost or we would see it. So it must be something else. Something that has a connection to everything we've seen. Or someone. Yeah, that's it. Um, the Countess connects these two cases. Mitchell? There has to be something or someone else that has the same connection. Mitchell? Joseph Mitchell? Bingo. The reporter? How could he have this kind of power? I don't know how he got so the power, Mitchell. but it all fits. He wrote about both Mavis and Isaac, and the Countess killed both of them. He seems mm. like the best candidate. Mm. But it doesn't make any sense. Think about it. You're a medium. What is it that mediums do? We get a lead, investigate, and ask a lot of questions. Yeah, that's part of it, but why? We help spirits into the next world. The deal exactly. With Joey was one a of the medium answers. needs a guide. Hers is gone. <laughs> Somehow Mitchell fills in the gap. Our countess is being told through Mitchell's writing to help certain spirits into the next world. It's not her fault they're still alive. You mean? I think you get the picture. Oh God, that's sick. It makes sense though. How is this possible? There's only one way to find out. It's time we paid our friend to Mitchell one Mitchell. more visit. Puff Puff, let's fucking go. The kid can find- Let's go! Yeah, Joey? Hey, have you done something different with your hair? What do you mean? I don't know, something's different. I washed it this morning. With shampoo? Yeah. That's what threw me. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah. I guess she was ready to go. Come on, let's get out of here. Right I, behind I you. I had to switch to Lauren, but I didn't think... She was just standing on the balcony like she wasn't ready to go, like she was not going anywhere. Um, alright. To the New Yorker, to Mr. Mitchell. Yes? This, this suspicious fuck. Of course it's him. Miss Blackwell. Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. I was just about to head home. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll just be a second. Well, if you insist, do have a seat. Thanks, but I'd rather stand. Go okay. on, let him have it. Mind if I smoke? Well, actually. Thanks. <laughs> Miss Blackwell, my patience is wearing thin. My family is waiting for me. Tell me what you want. Um. You finished your writing for the day, Mr. Mitchell? Yes. She really yes, doesn't give any advice. And now I'm going home. He's full of hot air. The page is blank. You haven't written anything today, have you? Why do you say that? I'm talking the paper about is he blank. Just sits there. What? How do you know that? I have exceptional eyesight. There's dust. Me too, Black. Forget the dust. I and there's dust on the typewriter. Well, can't I aspire to be her. You there. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business, Miss Blackwell. Now, if you'll excuse me. Tonya, he doesn't do his job. Mr. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written about hundreds of people over 30 years. The fact that two of them happen to be dead does not surprise me. Hmm. It's just a coincidence. Funny thing about my life, Mr. Mitchell? If something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. 
Well, I hate to disappoint you. He can't see Joey, no. Look at the sweat on this nope. guy's brow. If he ain't lying, I'm dying. So to speak. You aren't a very good liar. And you are poking your nose into things you don't understand. You'd be surprised at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. Try me. Who are you, anyway? You come in, out of the blue, and bring up all this. All of what? I don't know. I... I honestly don't know. I write about people and they die. Can you understand that, can you? My whole life I've been driven to write about people. Now I kill them instead. Oh, he thinks... He doesn't know what's happening. Why is this happening? I think it's a penance of some kind. I've shared the intimate details of people's lives with the world, but half I like, got the fucking death note one or secret something. too many. <laughs> I don't think about it anymore. I just come to work like nothing's wrong. Everyone's been very polite so far, but I'm sure the ball will drop someday. You've done nothing wrong. There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. <laughs> right? He's <A> light. Countess. <laughs> killing people that I write about. That's a tall story. And that's a lot to take in. Why would she do something <laughs> like that? How did this happen? Probably because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably, so you're not sure? Not as such, no. Well then, I appreciate you trying, but I prefer if you left well enough alone. And I'll take a potato chip and eat it. <laughs> uh, so good. Um, he could write again. I think he probably misses writing. Don't you want to write again? Oh yes. But people are safe, as long as I don't write about anything real. I've always wanted to try a hand at fiction. Had a story in my mm, head for years. Fine. I'll probably give it a whirl, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. Not on my watch! Uh... I'm trying to help you. And I never asked for it. Okay, people die funny. when I write. So, I don't write. The problem solved. Don't you want to help? There's a killer out there. Who only kills people I write about. So I stop writing about people. Problem solved. You're not a murderer, Mr. Mitchell. No, I'm not. Five years back, I tried to write about a man. An old man in a bar. He was killed the next day, choked to death. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Then I wrote about another man, Mr. Isaac Brown. You know him. He died the same way. Still figured it was just a coincidence. But then it happened with Mavis Wilcox. For the third time in a row. No, I didn't kill them. Not on purpose. But if I wrote a fourth time, that would be murder. Plain and simple. You gotta get him to write about you? Uh, the Countess lost her guide somehow, and his name was Mitchell, maybe? So she latched onto his stories? Oh, maybe. That's a good theory. I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured, you can. What if we you get seem him like to a write capable about young lady, the Countess? And I'm sure you think you know what's what. But I don't herself. want any more deaths on my conscience. Yeah, Blacko. Yeah, now we're talking. If you won't help me, I'll have to Blacko go to the police. It. Oh? And tell them what? All those deaths, all killed the same way, so soon after you met them, I'm sure they'd be interested in that information. Is that right? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. Careful? I'm not without defenses, if you know what I mean. Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write about me? I didn't say anything. You Smart know what? Yourself. Go right ahead. What do you mean? You want to write so bad? Write about me. Dust off that typewriter and get to work. Knock yourself out. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean... Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, this is dangerous. Lauren. I know what I'm doing. Lauren, Jesus. I can't do it. Lauren. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how long? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head on. It's the only way. Do it. You don't know what you're Who's asking. Bait? What's the worst that could happen? Get the countess you to show could up. die. Oh. <laughs> Is that all? But oh. quiet. Whatever. Right. I was born in Troy, upstate New York. My mother's name was Patricia. My father. You getting this stuff down? Nice. Well, I hope you're happy. I'm never happy. Oh my god. Lord Jesus. for another balcony chat. Okie dokie, Finder. I hope you sleep well. Thank you for being here. See you next time.
Hey. Get good sleep. Um. When do you think she'll get here? I don't know. I feel her coming, though. She knows who I am. How can you feel that? I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. That's weird. So, any thought on how to handle her? What are we gonna do? Nope, not a one. I just want to talk to her. Well, she can see and hear me, so I can help. You're not alone. Yeah. You understand? You're That's not a good alone. Point. I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. And what happens to me, huh? You die, what the heck happens to me? You'll move on to whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? It's not about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby brother. I'm sure you guys will get along great. Yeah, great. We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Button it, Joey. If this bra's a medium like me, then I have some questions for her. If I'm gonna end up like that, I wanna know. And if All she kills you for your trouble, her throat. Well, I mean, then I won't have to worry. Should be All that right. challenging. I'll just leave you to it. Yeah. Balcony choke! We're the choker? Oh no. She's here. So polite of her to knock. Oh man, the music got real somber. The death dirge in here. One last puff. Wow, we're I, just on the welcome mat. You. We just dropped yes. it on the fucking welcome you know mat. Me. Come in. Set our house on fire. I'm watching you. So. Oh, we already What's have another your story? one. <laughs> I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? I can help. Who are you? I am the Countess. Do you have a guide? A spirit guide? I still feel her. She is gone, but not completely gone. What do you mean? Kid, her mind is snapped. She's not gonna make any sense. Yes, she snapped my mind. She went away and my world expanded. I see everything. Everything. It hurts. Yeah, that's gotta be awful. Oof. You're bonded with Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guide? Yes, the non-guide. He speaks to the world. He spoke to me. He tells me what to do. Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice, but tonight I heard him. He told me to help you. Imagine just meeting this, he didn't this tell woman you that. in Why a dark else park would I be here? at night. I, I'm here Hearing to ramblings. help you. You're here to kill me. No! I don't kill! I will set you free! Hey, watch it, lady. Who was your spirit guide? She had a name. I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think, not without her. Why did she leave? Why? Where is your spirit guide now? I don't know. Her voice is gone. I'm lost. I found that other voice, but he is so quiet. You mean Mitchell? The true guide. She is gone. Gone. How did she go away? I don't know. She found a way. Why did she do that? Were you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you? You know, sane. <coughs> Joey. Joey. I was happy. I was smaller. Saw the world in muted colors. And there was music. Sweet music. music. We helped people. It felt good. Now she is gone. Now I help people, but it feels bad. Will I Can't become why. like you? Please tell me. That's all I want to know. You? You are loved. Loved? Loved by who? You are in pain, my child. Let me help you. Um... I'd like to help you instead. Help me? I need no help. You need to be free. Well, that didn't work out. Hey. Hey! Let her go, you old witch! Damn it! I can't do anything. Fight her, Lauren. Fight back! Fight back! Burn her with a cigarette, Lauren! <laughs> Alright, that's what happens when you mess with us. 
Stay away from her. No, she needs my help. Hey, you want to help someone? Why don't you help me? You want to free a spirit? Well, I'm the real McCoy. You? Yeah, that's right. Come and save me. I'm right here. I... Wait. I'm supposed to help her. I'm waiting. I'll save. No! The connection is gone! I cannot save you, but I can still save her. Hey! I said hey! I need help! Help? Well, I'm in pain. Her, what are so. you gonna do about it? I can help you. I... The bond! It's gone! I can't reach you! Her... There is still time. Hey, hey, if anyone needs saving, it's me. You need to be saved? I can move? Why do you move so you don't need help? Huh? Hey, I need help? You're past your prime. I don't sure, think okay. you can handle it. Okay, wait. You. We gotta get her to scoot. Come on, then. Make with the saving. You... Need me? Come, Come on, on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. You're so good at helping, let's see you help me. I will set you free. Why do you move so far? Oh, you don't hurt. Hey. Shit. No. Fuck. I need help. Oh, Wait. Whoa. are you? What do you want? Oh, Come on. Yo. I'm waiting. I'll I'm in. P I can. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? I. I want to help you. Why won't you let me help you? Uh, J Joey? Lock her outside, Lauren! Can I not lock the door? What is he doing? I'm sorry. I can't look, is she? Yeah. There's no... No ghost. She's gone. Gone. I killed her. It was either her or you, darling. You made the right choice. <laughs> Did I? What if, what if that's me one day? Hey, huh? What if I'm old and confused and, and alone? You won't be alone. I'll make just, sure just of that. Oops. You say that now. But look at her. I did not expect us Her to guide that. was gone. I can't speak for the future, kid. Don't leave me, Joey. Maybe someday we'll meet someone like her, and then maybe we'll find out more. But right here, right now, I'm here, and I'm staying put. That's something, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. It's something. Don't leave me, Joey. Oh, you came in with the raid. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is a Whoa. bad idea. You don't need to do this. Hello? Hi. Jack? Oh, uh, we call that Lauren. baby brother. Sis, is that you? Yeah, Jack. It's me. Where have you been? It's not important. Oh. I miss you. Tell me about your life, Jack. How's Maria? When's the wedding? This is a really bad idea. We did it. We did it, guys. We did it, guys. He does leave her. Um, the sun yeah, te yeah, technically she leaves him. Shine on a sad old memory that's when uh, there are going to be ghosts at the wedding? Is the next game? Uh, what is the next game? Let's, let's see. Oh, it's gonna cut the sound. That's gonna pause the whole thing. Um, the next one. I don't actually know. Sugar peas. I don't know what order when it is. The moon we did it! Thank you for the pennies, there. Okay. Hold on, black. Well, games in order. The next one is convergence. Okay. Uh, Shadows. Great. Just says it's 
the third game of the Black Ops here. Yes, that's not helpful. Well. That her it looks like we're back to being Rosa, though, I think, maybe? That's when yeah, Rosa. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. How old are these games? Uh, this one was made in 2007. The next one was made in 2009, then 2011, then 2014. So, you know, <laughs> a few years. Just a couple. Just a couple years old. Oh man, the dude played Dwayne and Sam. Things, uh, but when options that we can do as a Jamaican Turn dude, this is not so surprise me. Yeah, right. That you um, shed. I think we could. I have a couple of games that have been gifted to us that we could work through. Um, Murder by Numbers. Uh, and <laughs> I have Mass Effect. All of Mass Effect. I also have a Dragon Age that we could play. Um, it was kind of gifted to me by a friend that I want to get to try. Um, we could also do more of these games. We could just keep these going in a row, and maybe I'd remember the content better. Uh, we could do that. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it'll be a poll. During this game, Lauren smoked 36 cigarettes, and Joey was hit four times by a saxophone. Oh, incredible. When the oh, sun no! We didn't get our bonus pictures. We didn't take any pictures. Quietly oh, the sea. Can you do these games on Sundays? The yeah, we can just do some slow Sundays with these. Shine. They're usually fairly short, so... Sad old memory. Um, let me... Hold on. How long? Let's do... Um, Convergence takes about three hours, Deception takes four and a half, and the Epiphany takes six and a half. So they get gradually longer. Yeah, looks like. Um, the first one was three hours, this one was two and a half. So three hours for the next one, we could probably do that on a Sunday. So we, yeah, we could save these for Sleuth Sundays and then do something else along the week. What Sundays? Wait, no, that's another thing. Is that, is that really a thing? Oh, it that just closes the game. All right, no more game for us. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The plot thickens. Ho, ho. Um, all right, I'll find something else for Tuesdays. We'll save these for the weekends then. We'll save them for Sluice Sundays. And we'll do something else on Tuesday. I don't know what. We'll figure it out. Um, That's it for today, though, guys. That's all I had. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here with me for Blackwell Unbound. Um, let's see if we can get some tunes, and then we'll do our thank yous. We'll also see if there's anybody to raid. I'm not sure, since normally Noob is my go-to, but she raided us this time! Um... Also, I'm gonna write down fix my bot. I gotta fix that bot! We'll find a new one. Um... Cool! Thanks so much for being here with me, guys! I hope you have a wonderful night! Um... Air, thank you for the biddies! Thank you, thank you for the bits! Uh, Alpha, thank you for the reset. Happy 49 months. And Cities Koala, thank you for the biddies. <laughs> thank you for the biddies. Uh, the end of stream biddies. Uh, Ambrose, thank you for the reset. Happy 26 months. Air, thank you for gifting a sub to Noob. Noob, happy 8 months. And Noob, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you for bringing me your beautiful community. Um, Sassy, thank you for gifting a sub to Finder. Finder, I know you're asleep, but happy 2 months. And Sassy, thank you so much for gifting that sub. Uh, Cookie, thank you for the resub. Happy 49 months. Fizz, thank you for gifting Cookie that 49 month sub. And that's it. That's it for today, guys. So let's see if there's anyone to raid quick. Um, chances are low, but let's check anyway. Ah, Amprof is playing Phantasmagoria. I can send you over there. Let's go see Amprof. Is it going? There it goes. Cool. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I will see you all on Tuesday for a new game uh, that has yet to be determined, so we'll figure it out. And then uh, Sunday for more Blackwall games, if you're into that. Uh, until then, guys, have a great one. Bye! Oh, Phasmophobia, different game. We're gonna go raid, we're gonna go raid and props. Phasmagoria, Phasmophobia, Jesus, Phasmophobia. Uh, use a heart emote in chat when you get there, if you've never raided before. Uh, just use a heart emote, and I'll see you guys over there.